Pennsylvania, with its rich history and diverse landscapes, is home to a multitude of eerie and haunted locations that stir the imagination and chill the soul. From the mist-shrouded forests to the bustling streets of its historic cities, the Keystone State harbors a wealth of creepy places waiting to be explored. So join us as we embark on a journey through the shadows and uncover the secrets of Pennsylvania's most haunted locations. Number 6. Hexenkopf Rock is a mysterious and eerie rock formation that has long captured the imagination of locals and visitors alike. The name Hexenkopf translates to Witch's Head, adding to the rock's ominous allure. Perched atop South Mountain, Hexenkopf Rock is a massive outcrop of quartzite that juts out from the wooded landscape, resembling a gnarled and weathered cranium. Its distinctive shape and isolated location have led to various legends and folklore surrounding its origin and significance. According to local lore, Hexenkopf Rock was once a site of ancient Native American tribes in the region long before European settlers arrived. Some believe that the rock was used as a sacred site for spiritual ceremonies, rituals, and gatherings. It is thought to have been a place where tribal leaders sought guidance from the spirits or conducted rituals to honor their ancestors. Some believe that it was used as a place of worship or as a lookout point for scouting prey. In addition to its Native American connections, Hexenkopf Rock has also been linked to association with witchcraft and gatherings of witches. Legend has it that witches were drawn to the rock's mystical energy. According to local lore, the rock was believed to be a site where witches would convene to perform rituals, cast spells, and commune with supernatural forces under the cover of darkness. The eerie atmosphere of the isolated rock formation has fueled tales of witch gatherings and occult activity throughout the centuries. Over the years, visitors to Hexenkopf Rock have reported strange occurrences and unexplained phenomena, from eerie noises echoing through the surrounding woods to sightings of shadowy figures lurking among the trees. Tales of paranormal activity have added to the rock's mystique. Some claim to have felt an overwhelming sense of unease, like someone or something is walking beside them, or like they're being watched while in the vicinity of Hexenkopf Rock. Today, Hexenkopf Rock remains a popular destination for hikers and nature enthusiasts, offering stunning views of the surrounding landscape and a glimpse into Pennsylvania's rich history and folklore. While the truth behind its mysterious past may never be fully known, Hexenkopf Rock continues to fascinate, drawing curious visitors to its rugged summit and sparking the imagination of those intrigued by the supernatural and the unknown. Number 5. Centralia in the heart of Pennsylvania lies the small borough of Centralia, a place shrouded in mystery and eerie tales. What makes Centralia so haunting? It all began in 1962, when an underground coal mine fire ignited beneath the town, setting off a chain of events that would transform it into one of the creepiest places in America. As the fire smoldered beneath the surface, toxic gases began seeping into the air, creating an invisible menace that would slowly suffocate the town. But it wasn't until 1981 that Centralia's true horror was revealed. One fateful day, 12-year-old Todd Domboski was innocently playing in his backyard when the ground suddenly gave way beneath him, swallowing him whole into a sinkhole. Miraculously, Todd was rescued, but the incident sent shockwaves through the community, highlighting the perilous conditions lurking beneath their feet. Despite efforts to extinguish the inferno, the fire raged on, consuming everything in its path. As the ground collapsed and buildings crumbled, residents were forced to flee, leaving behind a ghost town frozen in time. Today, Centralia stands as a haunting reminder of the consequences of unchecked industrialization, its abandoned streets and decaying structures serving as a chilling testament to the power of nature gone awry. But Centralia's eerie reputation extends beyond its physical decay. Visitors to the town report strange phenomena from unexplained sounds emanating from the earth to eerie shadows flitting between the abandoned buildings. Legends abound of lost souls wandering the desolate streets and phantom coal miners toiling away in the depths of the mine, adding to the town's aura of mystery and dread. In Centralia, the past and present converge in a surreal landscape where reality blurs with myth, and every crumbling facade hides a story waiting to be unearthed. As the mine fire continues to burn unabated, Centralia remains frozen in time, 
a testament to the fragility of human civilization and the enduring power of the unknown. Number 4. The Devil's Den Nestled within the rolling hills of Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, lies a place steeped in legend and lore. This rocky outcrop, located on the battlefield of one of the bloodiest conflicts of the American Civil War, is infamous for its haunting atmosphere and eerie tales that have persisted for generations. The origins of Devil's Den's name are uncertain, but some believe it stems from the rugged terrain that resembles a demonic visage, while others attribute it to the countless lives lost during the Battle of Gettysburg. Regardless of its etymology, Devil's Den has become synonymous with ghostly encounters and unexplained phenomena. During the Civil War, Devil's Den was the site of fierce fighting between Union and Confederate forces. The rocky terrain provided natural cover for soldiers, turning the area into a deadly battleground. It is said that the spirits of those who perished in the conflict still linger among the craggy rocks, their restless souls unable to find peace. One of the most famous legends associated with Devil's Den is that of the sharpshooter's ghost. According to the tale, a Confederate sharpshooter took refuge among the boulders of Devil's Den, picking off Union soldiers with deadly accuracy. In retaliation, Union soldiers hunted him down and killed him, but his vengeful spirit is said to haunt the area to this day, taking aim at unsuspecting visitors who dare to trespass on his territory. Visitors to Devil's Den report chilling experiences, from sudden drops in temperature to inexplicable shadows darting among the rocks. Some claim to have heard the faint echoes of battle cries or the ghostly whispers of long-dead soldiers. Others have reported encountering apparitions dressed in Civil War-era attire, their faces etched with agony and despair. Despite its ominous reputation, Devil's Den continues to draw curious visitors and paranormal enthusiasts from around the world. Whether seeking a glimpse into the past or hoping to commune with the spirits that still roam its rocky terrain, Devil's Den remains a symbol of the enduring legacy of the Civil War and the mysteries that linger beneath its surface. Number 3. Eastern State Penitentiary The Eastern State Penitentiary, located in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, stands as a haunting reminder of the harsh realities of incarceration and the human toll it exacts. Built in 1829, the prison was designed to revolutionize the American correctional system with its innovative philosophy of solitary confinement and penitence. Upon its completion, Eastern State Penitentiary was unlike any other prison of its time. Its imposing Gothic architecture and imposing stone walls served as a formidable deterrent to would-be criminals. But it was the interior layout that truly set Eastern State apart. Inmates were housed in individual cells, isolated from one another, and forbidden from communicating with fellow prisoners. The goal was to encourage reflection and remorse, leading to spiritual transformation and rehabilitation. However, the reality of life within Eastern State Penitentiary was far from the idealistic vision envisioned by its founders. Solitary confinement took a severe toll on inmates' mental health, driving many to madness or despair. Reports of hallucinations, self-destruction attempts, and violent outbursts became commonplace, painting a bleak picture of life behind bars. Despite efforts to reform the prison system, Eastern State Penitentiary remained in operation for over a century, housing notorious criminals such as Al Capone and Willie Sutton. Over time, the harsh conditions and overcrowding took their toll, and in 1971, the prison was finally closed for good. Today, Eastern State Penitentiary stands as a museum and historic site, offering visitors a glimpse into its dark and troubled past. The crumbling cell blocks and crumbling walls serve as a haunting backdrop for tours that delve into the prison's history and the stories of those who were incarcerated within its walls. But it's not just the physical remnants of Eastern State that contribute to its eerie atmosphere. Visitors and staff alike report strange occurrences, from unexplained footsteps echoing through the empty corridors to ghostly apparitions that materialize in the dim light. Tales of hauntings and paranormal activity have only added to the prison's mystique, cementing its reputation as one of the most haunted places in America. Whether exploring its labyrinthine halls by day or venturing into its shadowy depths by night, Eastern State Penitentiary remains a chilling reminder of the human capacity for cruelty and the enduring legacy of those who suffered within its walls. Number 2. The Byberry Mental Hospital Once home to the Philadelphia State Hospital at Byberry, this psychiatric institution was infamous for its overcrowded and inhumane conditions. 
Opened in 1907, Byberry quickly became overcrowded, housing far more patients than it could adequately care for. As the population of the hospital swelled, conditions deteriorated rapidly, with reports of neglect, abuse, and unsanitary living conditions rampant throughout the facility. Patients at Byberry were subjected to harsh treatments and neglect, leading to widespread suffering and despair. Many residents were locked away in squalid conditions, deprived of basic necessities and humane treatment. Over time, the hospital became synonymous with the worst abuses of the psychiatric system, earning a reputation as a place of horror and suffering. In 1987, after decades of controversy and public outcry, the Philadelphia State Hospital at Byberry was finally closed for good. The buildings were abandoned, left to decay and crumble into ruins. Today, the remnants of Byberry stand as a haunting reminder of the dark chapter in Philadelphia's history, with the abandoned structures serving as a testament to the suffering endured by those who were once confined within its walls. Despite efforts to demolish the buildings and erase the memories of Byberry's troubled past, the memories of the suffering endured within its walls live on, serving as a sobering reminder of the need for compassion and reform in the treatment of mental illness. Number 1. The Union Canal Tunnel located in Lebanon County, Pennsylvania, holds a place of intrigue and historical significance. Built between 1825 and 1827, it was the first transportation tunnel constructed in the United States. While its primary purpose was to facilitate transportation along the Union Canal, its history is also shrouded in tales of tragedy and eerie occurrences. The tunnel stretches for nearly 600 feet beneath the rolling hills of Lebanon County, serving as a testament to the ingenuity and engineering prowess of its creators. However, its construction was not without its challenges, and the lives of many laborers were lost during the arduous process. Legend has it that the spirits of these unfortunate workers still linger within the depths of the tunnel, their restless souls unable to find peace. Visitors to the Union Canal Tunnel report hearing strange noises echoing through its dark corridors, from disembodied footsteps to ghostly whispers. One particularly chilling tale involves the apparition of a young girl who is said to haunt the tunnel. According to legend, she was the daughter of a canal worker who perished during the construction of the tunnel. Some claim to have seen her ghostly figure wandering the tunnel's length, her ethereal form illuminated by a faint, otherworldly glow. Despite its eerie reputation, the Union Canal Tunnel remains a popular destination for history enthusiasts and paranormal investigators alike. Its well-preserved structure and fascinating history offer a glimpse into the past, while its ghostly legends add an extra layer of intrigue to the experience. Pennsylvania boasts a diverse array of eerie and haunting locations that beckon to thrill-seekers and paranormal enthusiasts alike. From abandoned asylums to mysterious tunnels, each site carries its own chilling history and spine-tingling tales. Whether seeking a glimpse into the past or an encounter with the supernatural, these haunted locales promise to leave a lasting impression on all who dare to venture into their shadowy depths. Thanks for joining us on this chilling exploration of Pennsylvania's creepiest places. Hit subscribe and turn on notifications to stay up to date with our latest videos. Bye for now.